got back from a bike ride across San Francisco over to Golden Gate Park to see the dahlia flowers this year. If you come to San Francisco, August and September, you need to see the dahlia flowers in Golden Gate Park. As we do this video, I'll show you some of the beautiful sights I saw at the God. But that's not really what I'm here to talk to you about today. So once again, we're having to talk about food security. Because, for an example, in Eastern Australia, New South Wales, they're having a severe drought. One of the worst. In fact, the entire country of Australia is in drought. What is going to happen? Well, they're going to lose about 50% of their winter crop of 2018. Their forecasts are saying there are limitations to the summer crop, meaning that there's not going to be a summer crop, probably. In fact, the agricultural administration there in Australia is saying don't expect any new crops to come in for 12 months. And what are the two big crops that are failing in Australia? Wheat and chickpeas. This is just for an example of how weather can destroy your food very quickly, within months or even just a few days. Let's go over to North Carolina. So in North Carolina, before the hurricane came in, I kept mentioning that the hurricane was going to slow down but be a very wet hurricane. That was like a week before it even hit shore. The farmers all over North Carolina were watching what was coming and knew how to take advantage of it. They knew if they did nothing and let the hurricane do its thing, they could reap huge amounts of money in insurance claims. And that's exactly what they did. They could have saved most of the crops that were poultry and pigs. For example, 1.7 million chickens drowned in North Carolina farm. They let them drown. They never even tried to save them. And they knew two to three weeks ahead of time what was coming. 5,500 hogs drowned to death. farmers could have released them and let them on their own, they would have at least had a chance to go to higher ground. Whether they would have been able to take all the rain or not, I don't know. I don't raise hogs. I don't eat meat because that disgusts me. And so that brings on the second part of my video is morality. Where are people's morality. These farmers knew what was coming and refused to do anything. They couldn't even bother to open a few doors and shoo the pigs out before the floods came. I'm just amazed at this. And we've seen this over and over. Farmers say that they care about their crops and their animals. Well, yeah, you can say anything, can't you? But in reality, they let those pigs die a slow death. That water came up slowly, probably over two or three days before they were dead. They would have had to hold their, their heads up. And a pig's head is very heavy. And it's just unbelievable how cruel that is. It really makes me sick inside. You know, I have one thing to say to these farmers. What goes around comes around. I do believe that in most cases. So, out in the Dahlia Dale, out here in San Francisco. I'll let you look at some more flowers as you ponder the thought of slowly dying of suffocation in water. Being cold, wet, nobody there, no lights, nobody cares, and you just drown. Gah, unbelievable. Your comments are welcome. Your ups, your downs, your new subscribers. I love it all. And until next time.